I am Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market and you just purchased the Mila Complete C3 Elise Canister Vacuum Cleaner. Woo! How exciting is this? We love it when people are purchasing Mila's. Any day if somebody purchases a Mila is a good day. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you all of the components that are included in your box, how what they are, and then how to attach everything and then what their use is. So right off the bat, I want you to just unbox everything, take it all out of the Mila box, and let's make sure you have your canister body, your lighted handle, your telescoping wand, your dual function flooring attachment, and your hose. There are also three more cleaning attachments that are stored inside the body of your canister. So you should have a dusting brush, a crevice tool, and an upholstery tool. So why don't you take this time right now, make sure that you have every single thing that you see here, everything that I mentioned, and then I'm gonna show you how to assemble it, how to change your bags and your filters, and how to use your LEDs. Now that you've verified that you have all the contents present, what we're going to do now is I'm going to go a little bit more in depth on what each component is, and then I'm going to show you how to assemble your machine and then the different functions also included with this model. So this is your telescoping wand. How it telescopes is there is kind of like this little black sleeve, I guess you would call it. You just squeeze that and then you either extend or retract your telescoping wand. This is gonna be how you're gonna reach the tops and cracks of your ceilings and then how you're gonna get behind and under furniture. This is your lighted handle. You will have to install the batteries included in the same little box that or bag that um, your handle comes in. There's three batteries and you're gonna need a little Phillips screwdriver. You're gonna open this little compartment up. You're gonna put your batteries in, close it. Don't forget to screw it closed. And then this little light button, then once you press that, you're gonna have your um, the ability to have a little light on your handle. It's really nice. This is your flexible hose, and this is your dual function attachment. So this attachment is going to be how you're going to clean any hard flooring, any carpeting, and that delicate carpeting if you do have it. And how this um, tool operates is you have right now the bristles are retracted. And that is going to be how you're going to do any carpeting or delicate carpeted surfaces. And this little lever right here, you're going to push it the opposite way. It'll push out these bristles and that'll be how you can clean your hard flooring without damaging it. So this is a dual function head. It makes it really easy to transition because you can just step on the little lever and toggle back and forth between the setting and the flooring setting that you need. It's a really nice feature. So this model, the Elise, takes the GN bags. They have a blue clip on them. And how you're going to go and change your bag is if you see right here, there's a little clip right here underneath your handle. This is called your handle. You're going to squeeze that and pull it away from you. And this is your bag clip in your bag. So this is the bag clip and this bag clip is supposed to be inside your machine. You're never supposed to take the bag clip out. You're only going to take the collar of the bag out. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You just wiggle it and pull it down and that's how you take out your bag. So this is what's supposed to be the only thing coming out. Your bag with its little collar. This is the bag clip and this is going to stay on the inside of your canister. And you're probably wondering why I'm mentioning this so much. Um, this is our number one replacement with Mila vacuum cleaners is people just yank out the whole entire thing. They think that this is supposed to be thrown away. And then once they get their bags, they can't fit them in and their whole vacuum fills up with debris and it's kind of disgusting and a nightmare and takes forever to clean. So let's make sure that our bag clips stay on the inside of our canisters. This is going to hold your bag in the proper place. So when you're cleaning up all your debris, it's going to go from your flooring attachments to your hose and your wand straight into your bag and then through the two layers of filtration that you have. So it's really nice to keep your bag clip in there. Um, your, your vacuum has two filters. It has a motor filter and a HEPA filter. Your motor filter, is right here. It's this little blue pull down grate. And what you're going to do is you're going to open that. Um, you're going to pull it down. And this little spongy uh, 
square filter, sorry, I can't think of a shape right there. Um, it's a square filter, and that is gonna be your motor filter. That's gonna protect your motor, so that's really important. And this filter is supposed to be changed every four bags. So if you're getting a box of bags, you're gonna change this when you get to the fourth bag in your box, or if you purchased a performance pack or an XL pack, um, after they're gonna be taped in quantities of four when you get to the last, um, bag in your little pack, that's going to be the time to change that motor filter. The other filter that you have pre-installed in your machine is your HEPA filter. And HEPA filters are good for a year and a half to two years. So this is going to be completely based on time of use. If you are cleaning every single day, you are going to use your HEPA filter a lot faster than someone who's cleaning once a week or bi-weekly. So that is all going to fall on how often you are cleaning and that is all going to be up to your household. There's going to be a little plastic um, a little like string thing and you're just going to gently pull that off and then there's going to be a green circle and you're going to press that. That is going to activate the time release strip on your HEPA filter and that time release strip is a horizontal white line and it starts white and from left to right it's going to fade to red. When it's all red that's the time to change your HEPA filter. So your first bag that you have pre-installed in your machine, you might fill it up with your first initial clean and this is completely normal. Neela's have very good suction power, so they're gonna pick up a lot of things that other vacuums might have missed. So if you fill up your vacuum bag with your first initial clean, this is completely normal. Once you switch to your next bag, you're gonna get a really good baseline for how often you're gonna be changing your bags. So to install your bag on your bag clip, there are arrows and they're going to match the arrows on your bag clip and you're just going to slide your bag in and you hear a little click and you're going to notice that there's a little bit of excess bag and a lot of people freak out because they think that their bags are too big. They're not. Um, this is so that your bag can fill to the full capacity of your canister. So just tuck your bag in and then you're ready to close up your machine. So to actually get all of your flooring attachments and set up your machine, you're gonna lay it down like this. So you're gonna have your suction settings facing the ceiling. And your tool storage compartment is um, right there. So don't forget, that's where your specialty cleaning attachments are. You're gonna see a plus and minus button. These are your suction settings. You're gonna increase or decrease your suction by either pressing the plus or minus button. And there's six suction settings on your machine. It starts at max um, by the plus um, button, and it's gonna start at hard flooring, carpeting, there's a little ear symbol, that's for a lower decibel volume if you have pets that are sensitive to a vacuum cleaner noise, or if you have children um, who take lots of naps that you still wanna be able to clean during their naps, this is a really great option that moms like as well. Then you have your area rug, your um, upholstery setting, and then finally your minimum setting, which is like drapery. The other two buttons below your plus and minus buttons, so many buttons I know. Um, one is your cord winder. That's going to be the one that has the cord in the shape of a circle. That is going to retract your cord on the inside of the canister body. The other button is your power button, and that is the circle with the line through it. That's power, so that's how you're going to turn your machine on. So how you're going to assemble and use all of these components that we talked about is your hose is going to attach to the body of your canister first and you're going to attach it by um, this larger side that is going to connect to the body of your canister. You're going to squeeze those two little levers, click it in, sorry I'm just battling those holes here, there you go, and then you're going to attach your handle and that'll click in too. And then you're going to attach your wand to your handle like that. And then you're going to attach your flooring attachment to the face of your wand. So I always like to show people that you do have the option of attaching your flooring attachments just like this. This is a really nice, easy way to store it. You do also have the ability to attach it on the sides of the vacuum on either side. So you can stand your vacuum up and put your attachment in on the side. Just makes it a little bit more condensed and easier to store. 
Another thing that I like to show people is that if you take off your handle, you can attach your cleaning attachments to the base of your handle, which is really nice. So if you're cleaning out the cars, you're cleaning stairs, you want to clean out your drawers or really get a specialty clean on any surfaces, but you don't need the added um, length of this wand, this is a very nice feature that Mila has taken into account. So you are able to do that. So now that we have talked about all of the features of the Mila Elise, battling this hose here. <laughs> this hose is normal. They, they loosen up a little bit, but since it's been in the box, it's a little feisty right now. So now is the perfect time to go and start playing around with your vacuum cleaner. What you're going to do is you're going to attach everything like I did, play around with the suction settings and the different levels, figure out which setting is going to be perfect for your carpeted or um, area rugs, um, and then also for your hard flooring surfaces as well. If you still have any questions after this video, don't worry. We are here and happy to help. You are free to reach out to us via our live chat feature on our website, or you can call or email us. We are always here to help and help you troubleshoot um, this model. We hope that you are very happy with your purchase of the Mila C3 Elise. It's always an amazing day when somebody purchases a Mila. Um, I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market, and happy vacuuming. Try not to clean too much now.